Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I will show you how to connect Google Docs to Discord. Now, first of all, go here, type in Google Docs. Obviously, you need to be on your dashboard here. So go to Google Docs here. We're going to go in Discord, add a Discord, and then we'll need to set up a trigger. A trigger can be, for example, when there is a new document in a certain specific folder, then you can basically send channel message, right? Or yeah, basically send channel message uh, is more logical here. Obviously you can pick and choose which whatever, you know, trigger you want, but this is pretty much the trigger that we're going to go with. It's the same process pretty much. Click try it. And then we'll need to go to the editor and here we'll need to connect both or sign in in Google Docs and uh, in Discord. So go in Google Docs uh, and here you can connect Google Docs so we can sign in into Google Docs. Obviously we need to sign in through our Gmail account, click allow. And once we click allow, we need to choose the account, which is going to be Google Docs, click continue. Uh, the folder is going to be a, a custom folder that we want, uh, which is going to be thumbnail photos, click continue. And then we need to test our trigger. So we test our trigger here. And uh, as you can see, we couldn't find a new document in folder. That's okay. Uh, you know, you can just skip the task. Uh, test or test trigger again if you want to add a new folder, a new uh, item in that folder. Uh, then we can skip the test. We skip the test and then we will be brought to the next step, right? Continue. And we can again sign in into our uh, Discord server. So go to our Discord server, click continue, and then pick a channel which is going to be a test one channel. Message is going to be the title of the document file. Ping username, yes, we want actually for Discord to ping our username. Text to speech, we don't want text to speech. Bot name can be just again, um, you can type in, I think, John. I think if you type in the bot name, it will be John. And then um, bot icon, you can actually go and uh, go with a URL of the icon, right? You just find a URL of the icon, you copy the URL, paste it here, and click continue. Now, once you have that, you can test the action. And once you test the action, if it if everything works correctly, uh, you can go and publish your Zapier. Now, once you publish your Zapier, you'll be able to connect Google Docs to Discord, and this will work flawlessly just for that one folder, as I showed you before. So that's pretty much how to do it. If you have any questions or comments, definitely comment down below, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.